How we doing, zombie? Do we have uh, do we have Piero in the house? Ah, see. Oh, hey. Good. What are all you friends. guys What's doing up, here? <laughs> Welcome to From A to Z. <laughs> Let's record. We're not recording yet. Um, are we not? Uh, not record. I, I, hope- I don't think we recorded. I hope y'all weren't talking shit about me because I've been recording for like six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy shirt. I love it. This is uh, from my friend Steven's film festival, the Sick and Wrong Film Festival. That's good. Which actually so has now rebranded to the Bizarro Land Film Festival. But uh, I've been in the, the uh, Sick and Wrong. I have not yet been in the Bizarro Land. Oh, Gerlin is asking me how to get here. I guess I need to send her an invite. Um, yeah. So how's everybody doing today? Pretty well, good. Excited to be yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go swim with my dog in a little bit. Nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I went swimming with my cats. They would shred me to <laughs> tiny little pieces. I've never even given... <laughs> Either, either of them a bath. They, they have no idea what water is. They'd kill me. I have... I've had to bathe many cats. <laughs> <laughs> that is a man who has been attacked viciously. There were a oh, lot man. of stories in that. <laughs> That's totally true. It's totally true. No, I mean, the last cat... <clears throat> That I mean, at least the last exciting tale I would have to say about bathing a cat would be that uh, there was this street cat. Well, he's still around. There's this street cat that lives near, around my house. I call him Mr. Fangs because he's got these long ass teeth. He's got long <laughs> teeth. And uh, he so he was like covered in like what seemed to be like food oil. Like he smelled like food oil and he was really like nasty. So, like, I was like, dude, I got to bathe you. And so me and the street cat had it out, and I bathed him. Got all this food <laughs> oil off of him. And... Oh, my gosh. Did you put him back outside? Uh, Well, during the winter, I, I bring him in. He's very not, like, he's very, like, protective. He's been hit by a car and stuff. He's been through a lot. But during the winter, I will catch him and keep him inside. But he's not box trained, and he's got diarrhea. So it's like I gotta put him out every day and then recatch him. It's a traumatic experience for both of us, but you know. <laughs> All right. Well, should we jump into the uh, the discussion topics here? Let's you get do going. it. You ready to go? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. I'm ready. I, I kind of love this this uh, diarrhea cat story, though. <laughs> it's a good opener. If you love diarrhea cats, stick around for the rest of the podcast. Right. <laughs> Shoot. All right. Well, we had uh, recent DAO votes that have passed. There's three new DAO votes. We have Mosaic Tile Art Progress. I missed the weekly Avagachi community call, so I'm hoping I can get some alpha catch up there. We have a rarity farming snapshot coming this week. I believe it wasn't last week, was it? Should be this week. It is Thursday, actually. Yes. This Thursday. Oh, rarity farming be snapshot. Actually, so this is a oh, this is the one we always start things at two p.m. UTC, but rarity farming always starts like fifteen minutes early. So you gotta be there like early because the snapshot is at two p.m. UTC. So the event actually starts like fifteen twenty minutes early every time. Sense. Yeah. Thursday, you said right. Thursday, like a one forty-five p.m. UTC. Yep. That's the way to do it. Cool. And then Artist Summit follow-up, and we have that cool gotcha goodies teaser I saw on Twitter we can talk about. So want to circle back? We'll start with the DAO votes. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Three things. Were sunsetting friends effective immediately? The delay one didn't even pass. That was like, pull the plug. We have updated glitter emissions for the Ghostmatic pair and the Ghost USDC pair. Ghostmatic is nerfed. If you've got stuff there, get it out. You're not earning anything. If you have Ghost USDC, I believe the emission rate for that increased a little bit. Can anyone confirm or deny on that one? True statement. Yeah, it went up to a 20% allocation. 
perfect. So if you're in Ghost USDC, you're doing good. If you're in Ghost Matic, fuck out of there. You're going to lose money. <laughs> <laughs> Updating Gachi lending. The uh, bar limit now is one plus the number of parcels that your wallet address owns. So that'll allow us to rent multiple gachis at a time if you're holding multiple parcels. If you're holding at least one parcel. Two gachis. None of that affects me particularly strongly. I don't have anything staked for friends at the moment because I blew it all on the art auction. No regrets. We've got... I've never LP'd. So I'm actually looking forward to getting into some of these pairs as a, as a liquidity provider for the first time. And Ghost USDC is the one pool part. I'm not in. I think. I mean, I, no, there's probably a couple, but Ghost USDC is one of them that I'm not in. Of course. I wonder if it's worth rebalancing at this point. Have you checked? <laughs> it might be. That's ah, a whale pool, man. You got to have real big bags to make that worth the time. Gotcha. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Anything like like literally probably at this stage, probably anything sub two k, your your resources are likely put elsewhere. That makes sense. Bit of a bummer that happened fast, but it makes sense. The last one is really the only one that would impact me. That gotchi lending borrow limit because I've got a good stack of parcels and I definitely don't like renting one at a time. I just haven't been able to find any good rentals. Well, now I it's, level three alters. it's one plus, well, it's your number of parcels plus one is the easiest way to count it. Right. right. But it, it's your, it's harder for your alter count. Cause then you can only really, you know, you're kind of, yeah, you have to rotate quickly at that rate, I guess. It definitely exactly. changes the way you approach it. I mean, like for me, for instance, I like long-term rentals, um, so, you know, it was better to be able to stack some long-term rentals and keep them in my wallet. And I can still do that, but, like, it does cap me at that limit where I'm like, all right, well, I only want to have so many long-term rentals so I can keep that one extra slot open for rotating as I need For the to. rotate. Yeah. I see what you mean. That's smart. So it That's does smart. change my game a little bit because I have to at least make sure that I don't – like because if I got stuck with all of my slots with long-term rentals, then like now that's it. I'm not playing the lending game. If for, there's a good one that comes up, you can't grab it. Exactly. So got to be uh, smart about that. I've been watching more for like the ghost profit per channeling to go up a with everything dropping, the margins are squeezing. And I've been struggling to find rentals like on my weird random off times. Granted, <laughs> I've been off grid for most of last week. So right. the times that I was looking for rentals weren't ideal. But we'll see how that goes. I'm glad I don't have to do it one at a time now. I don't know if there are any more new DAO votes in the mix yet or not. Oh, I'm popping chat open now. I see it going off. Hold on, yep, friends. Yep. No futuristic jumped in here. With oh, us. hey, man. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at it today, honestly. <laughs> no, I just uh, did my votes on these and moved on. Um, I did. I did get some yellow tiles uh, last night, though. I had to stock up on some yellow tiles. Gerline has been designing some stuff for us and. I don't know exactly what her plans are, but every week I basically have just gotten seven of each shape of each color. So I'm just stacking, you know, what's that? 28, 28 of each color is what I have. Oh, I see what you mean. You get seven of each shape within the colors. Okay, cool. Right. That's probably enough. I mean, if you're working with just a few reasonable parcels, that should be enough across the different colors to make something cool, right? Yeah, you know what I kind of thought is weird, though, because uh, Coder Dan was going over the numbers this this week on the community call, and he was saying that um, the diamond shape of every color is the most common tile. Uh, that's the most minted of every color is the diamond. And what I noticed looking at the uh, blog post last night is that the the tiles where they intersect actually forms a diamond. 
So if you were to use nothing but diamonds, you would actually form like a, a diamond, uh, you know, the whole thing would be that diamond pattern. Even if you were to change colors, the diamond is at every corner. So it's almost like a blend piece. Yeah, so it's almost like if you were to take any, like say if you were to take any other shape, say like the ghost shape, and you just said, all right, well, I'm going to do uh, like all ghosts. You would still have diamonds at every intersection. I see what you mean. All right, I got a channel real quick. <laughs> right now? <laughs> no, in, I mean, one, re- in one minute. Coming so up. not right now. No, I got a, yeah, I got a couple that, that need to get channel just two just two (laughs) that's not so bad all right so well while we're on the topic of mosaic art and you're about to be distracted does anyone in here have parcels they've been working on they want to show off or some cool parcels they found in the gotcha verse just showing off their parcels before the contest i gotta try although that's not true anybody who's already thrown them down yeah, anybody that's... Oh, man, 176. Wow. I'm going to be a busy dude tonight. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good work, man. Nice. I have seen a couple show up on Twitter, but only a couple. Yeah, I have seen a I few. I saw the, uh, the Forbidden... What was it? Forbidden Love. The yeah. Liquidator and the Gachi. Super cute. I yeah. like that one a lot. And I saw the update with the colors. The, when they added the... Uh, magenta tiles so that looks awesome i've been seeing a couple things just as i walk around my space like my altars my parcels but haven't seen any huge artworks posted besides that one it could just be that people are using the what's it called the realm simulator and they've got their sketches ready but they're not sort of saying people are keeping it quiet yeah i don't blame you i don't blame you I haven't seen any activity on my parcels either, so I'm sure you've got a, a pocket plan. For those uh, the canvas tiles. Um, yeah, that's all one girly, and she hasn't told me anything. That's why I'm just buying tiles at random now. Mm. Like she hasn't, yeah. So hopefully we don't end up in a situation where I'm like, I didn't buy enough for that. You know, I can't do that. I mean, I have 28 of each color. And seven of each shape. You know. Seems like a good spread. It's hard to know. You know, without a plan going into it, it's hard to know what you should buy. When right. the grasses were coming around, it was like, what do I do? So I bought eight purple. And then I thought, eight's not enough. It's 16. I got 16 purple. And I thought, well, that's not enough either because I want to be able to cover an entire tile or cu- entire parcel. Let's get 32. So I ended up getting 32 of each tile. That was probably overkill. And I have. I've opted out of the of mosaic tile. tiles. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> in in retrospect, or in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have. But if you can never mint them again. You know, people are going to want to decorate grid tiles or grid parcels too. So I'm, I'll just hold them. It'll be fine. It's right true. now, I'm, I'm using them all. So it'll be fine that way too. All right. And then we've got a color change this week, right? For the tiles. Light blue is out. Purple is in. Uh, no, yellow went out today. There it is. And no, purple tomorrow. is already in. So the new color can't. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. You're right. You're right. Tomorrow morning. Oh, it's yellow out tomorrow. Yellow out. And I think it's going to be, uh, I don't know. There's like three shades of purple and pink. I don't know which one we're calling this next one. <laughs> and then I guess the I final will either. be green, right? Does anybody know what tile's out tomorrow? Which, uh, which new color I'm we get? Bringing up the blog. I know it's another I have shade all these of purple pink, but I don't know. You know. 50 shades of mosaic tiles? Yes. Good about dork to, sided. About to get it. About to get it. All right. So it is. What are they calling this? We're calling this pink. We're just calling it pink. It's just pink. <laughs> so yellow is out, pink is in. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. UTC. And then green will be the final one. I wonder how many people are going to be minting green. Or like... 
Yeah. You think green's going to be popular? Because like I said, we have three shades that like we have magenta, purple, and pink. You know, like that's that's the same side of the color wheel there. And then we've got, you know. It'll offer some cool options for like shading and gradient stuff too. Right, right. That's true. But yeah, like the green is kind of popping. Like, because you got the blue, yellow, and green. And the green kind Drop of a almost. link in Sound of the Ghost. Yeah. I want to see those. Actually, I have a... Ah. Oh, wow. We're way further into here than I thought. I actually have a little image here I can share. Too. Oh, well, I guess it's part of the article. So there you go. But I can pop it up big on the screen there for the feed. There we go. So, yeah, you can see there, like I was saying, at each intersection, that's a diamond. <laughs> yep, chatting all over the place. Um, Here's good, Rigo. We'll, we'll chase them all down. This is a great spot for today, I guess. Yeah, the, this is the one that ends up in the in the recording, so... For Good this and for the, the weekly call on Fridays. So, yeah, where are we at? Where are we at? Well, all so, right. Yeah, so, let me get I, uh, notes. I don't know. I want to play with these. Now that we've got, like, uh, I haven't actually played with them. I've just been minting tiles and haven't messed with anything. But now that, you know, we have the, the being able to move things around, I actually want to start messing around and... I mean, I haven't played with that yet. Batch so movements can, too, right? Yeah. So can you actually put all your tiles in place before you like set them? Or is it like, like, can I batch? I like, don't know. Yeah, I need to play with this. I haven't messed with it yet. I haven't used the batch. I have used the move feature. And it works, but I had to move each, in, each individual installation one at a time and pay gas each time. So I'm yeah. hoping that, that batch one. Smoother. Yeah, that's what I want to be able to do is kind of play with my tiles, put them down, figure it all out, and then just stick it, you know? I have sticker anxiety. This isn't good for me, you know? You know, like when <laughs> <laughs> when the farming first opened, when we were first able to put altars down, I was like, I think it was days, maybe it was a couple days before I put an altar down. I was like, I don't know where I want to put it. Once I put it, it's, it's going to be there. It's going <laughs> to... Yep, and a couple of them are off-centered, too. I know that bothers people. I, I haven't moved them either. Well, what? A couple of my altars, I put them off-center on purpose. Like oh. I was like, oh, I want this altar over here. I wanted it there. Unpopular opinion. Well, it's also because, so in the very beginning, I didn't understand that you didn't have to actually walk up to your altar. That as long as you were on your land, you could click everything. Just be in the zone. So I was like, well, you can't block your altar. Like, oh, that's legit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have most of mine actually are near, they're centered, but they're near an edge. They're on the road edge, but they're like centered within the road edge. And I wanted it that way because I have too many parcels for gotchis, and eventually they're just going to be public goods altars. So I wanted them quick access right next to the NFT displays up front. Nice. Yeah, I left space for walls, but um, but other than that, yeah, like I mean, especially like on a humble, like you don't have much space. You actually have just enough space to set up a farming operation on a humble, and like you have space for one of each installation. <laughs> So yeah, I want to start messing around with those. I haven't had a chance to, but yeah, like I don't think anybody's showing off their parcels. I think everybody's keeping it um, on the hush, keeping their hands close. So to wait, the when chip. is yep. that? That is the twenty eighth. Is that? I'd be surprised if they did it before all the tiles were out. The twenty eighth. So is it must be the day the last tile comes out, which is right, or is that delayed? Let's see. Pink link comes again. out today. What is today? The 11th? September 7th. 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 Okay. Green <laughs> comes out September 14th. 
So then okay, that gives so you two weeks. So yeah, that's actually the day that green ends. And and it's also I'm looking forward to that. A I think Wednesday. we're gonna see some pretty cool parcels. So there's gonna be a community event on a Wednesday. So there you go. But yeah, September twenty eighth. So that's gonna be the day for sure. So you're probably gonna see a lot of people scrambling to get their top secret parcel drops, you know. 26, 27 might be good days to list any extra mosaic tiles you have on the bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Ghost of heat. Get People all just your, desperate to fill in their corners. You get all your, your designs down quick, and then you throw all your extra tiles on the market. For the- <laughs> be the way to do it. Because I think after the competition, we're going to see the, the value, the market price on those go down significantly. Because at this point, the competition is the only yield potential that can come from these assets. And I think as soon as that yield window closes, we're going to get dumped. I don't know. I think uh, a lot of people are just going to keep their decorations. You know what I mean? Like, I have. I, I've kept my grass. I haven't sold any of that. Right. I think once you put it down, there's no point in taking it up unless you know you can sell it. So then it becomes just something you Ooh. don't think about. You're you just like my parcel looks good. Like you don't you. That's the thing about. That's what they want. That's the idea. Right. Well, and I mean that's kind of the whole thing. Like this thing isn't going to be sustainable if we don't feel that way. Like if everything is like always like what can I sell this for? What can I get out of this? And it's not like I enjoy this and I want this. Then like this isn't <laughs> sustainable. You got to have people want to be here and want to want things hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. it has to be an environment and an ecosystem that you want to continue participating and not just use as a tool i think we're gonna have it i mean the more that they release the more of the community type stuff that gmi does for example all of this is adding non-asset value to the game and the community and i think we're just gonna get stronger oh yeah so if we can keep doing cool stuff like this Right. The game piece will fall into place when the devs are ready and I mean, 30 years. Hell yeah. So yeah, that's why I don't think there'll be a big flood on the market of these tiles. Like I think, you know, I have, be- I have tiles sitting in my wallet that aren't listed because, you know, I might want to put these down somewhere. I've got, you know what I mean? I've basically got rugs in the closet, you know, just in case company comes out. <laughs> love it. I love it. <laughs> Ultimately, we can never craft any of these things ever again. So if you ever want to decorate anything anywhere, probably hang on to them. Exactly. Right. I mean, I'm already thinking about that. Like, yeah, I'm right now. I haven't thrown down any tiles because I'm thinking about the contest and I'm like, oh, I'm going to hold on to these so that I can like do the things I'm going to do for the contest. But like. Basically, once that's over, like it's all playtime after that. Then I'm going to go to work on just doing things I want to do and making my parcels look the way I want to look. And, you know, I might try to do a little bit of that in the meantime just to see maybe I'll come up with some really like awesome designs that I think could win. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm reading chat. I'm seeing Hardcore's got a request here at the end of the meeting. I'd like to see if we can get at least one GMI team set up for an easy AF hackathon entry, like making generative NFTs that use some of the sponsor's stuff. Interesting. You want to you wanna tell us more, friend? Yeah, jump on. We need you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching up on chat. All right, so yeah, I don't know. I uh, I just got back. I've been in a fucking waiting for four days and like uh, uh, thinking a lot. And yeah, so about this tile shit, what we should do? We should let all the fucking dumpers dump, right? Like they're all planning on fucking like a whole bunch of people's plans to overcharge us for tiles for the for the art contest. Fuck those guys. What we do is we, we, for the we dump, don't announce the cheap. contest until after they dump after the contest. It'd be, it's like we're announcing rarity farming seat, you know, the fifth, fifth week <laughs> after the fourth one, when there everyone's stumped and you're like, Oh, by the way, there's a bonus round. 
So like, and then we just, so we just buy up all their shit. Like once they start dumping and they're like, oh fuck, it's useless now. We dump this shit. We, we buy it all up and then we announce like, and from that point on, like people will actually want to craft and stuff, but uh, we'll be the only ones that have like the useful tiles. I feel like we are in the middle of that with Alchemica right now. I, oh, yeah. I can't believe the prices are dumping the way they're dumping. And it's like, now's a good time to load up, right? We have 30 years of building. Yeah, out. yeah. Yeah, I'm having trouble with the, do I build something more or do I, uh, or do I take the whole day's fucking FOMO and buy Keck with it? <laughs> <laughs> do I really, you know, like, it's like a, yeah, you get like, it's almost a one to one. Yeah, that, that was close. me yesterday. I'm like, oh shit, I've got to sell FUD to get Alpha to buy these tiles because I'm out. I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> I'm out of Alpha. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I made a deal with Harambe and like, I like kind of bent him over on that with the, I was like, I'll give you, a, I'll take two parcels at 70 and then, but I'll give you a, I'm going to pay you for the other one on Monday and, and like, and then like over the weekend, I earned the money, but then now I'm like, well, fuck, I, yeah, this whole this whole last day, I've been like trying to sell the FOMO and FUD only because I need more yellow tiles. I don't even like yellow or want them, but I'm like, I might need that. And then like the, but yeah, on the back end, and like if, <laughs> it's perfect if those of us that aren't any good at this fucking shit are the first ones to be like, okay, well here's our project. What are, what are you guys doing? Because uh, the fucking people that don't know how to do shit already did something and like, I, I don't think it would be too hard to make some generative yeah to, to make some generative ones and like the, there's a whole bunch of these tools we could use like a bit, like, like that, I, I feel like that table land thing could be real easy like where we just have it constantly see something that scours uh, that it, it could scour our discord it could scour like a news thing any sort of feed we could hook it up to for uh, you know, like comment for like the more com- most common adjectives used that day, and then it would feed those in. It would like take your, it would take like something from your gochi, and then something from the word cloud, and then you get the art. Huh. So something like that, like real basic. Like where all we're doing is like sucking from an API, and then sucking from the gochi stat. Yeah, pull and, some variables from here, pull some variables from here, output something. Yeah, yeah, and then we got to like put some sort of constants in there so that it, it kind of locks it in so it doesn't suck at random. Interesting idea. But, I mean, that Sounds can't like be Rigo's too hard. That's yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, like three people could like, you just figure out one thing. Like, how do I get this feed? There you go. Rigo said he's down. Yeah, in perfect, the chat perfect. There. He said he's so, yeah. he's open yeah, to trying. Do I don't want then to then the people that are it. actually programmers might be like, "Oh yeah, I feel like a chump." I don't know. Open to trying, down, same thing, right? <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> so hey, if anybody in like, here sounds interested in that, hardcore is your point of contact. Yeah, I don't know. It's like when uh, you ever been married or whatever. It's like when your your spouse like does, you know the thing that you're, you're supposed to be your job and you're not doing it. And they like go and they do it crappily <laughs> and it works. And you're like, I never, I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. I will go fix the roof. You know, and they're up there like looking like they're going to fall off. And it, it works. It's ancient tactics. <laughs> 40 but chests. Yeah, I'm sir. To be <laughs> yeah, 40 chests. Someone always wants to help you when you're sucking at something. Yeah, I don't All think right. we'll suck it. I don't think this stuff's that well, complicated. You're not wrong. You're not wrong because they see you doing something and they're like, all right, help this poor soul because, because <laughs> at least you're doing something. So people step in and, you know, yeah. they're like, let me show yeah, you. Yeah, like, like, like we win like, like three or five grand or something. It could be pretty Awful. Sweet. Hell yeah. Terrible. Getting like three grand, right? So like right as BTC hits the bottom. That's a th- like can you imagine, three grand might be a third of a BTC in two weeks. For real, have you talked that. to John Gachi about Yikes. this? Is he involved no. at all? No, not specifically, but but he's he's a he's a team player for sure, and I'm sure he would be excited about just flexing his chops. If he's got the bandwidth, has anyone tried his new lessons yet? I've this I've is only almost made it like a, zero one and two. I know Harambe tried to get through it. 
Because he hit me up on the last one. It's like, what's the, fi- the, an- the final answer? <laughs> <laughs> um, the first thing he asked me is the final answer. answer. I'm like, I haven't even looked. This has been 20 minutes. I haven't done it yet. I've, I've Honestly, I now. stopped at four because I think and it, it, he probably fixed it by now, I guess. But there was some kind of glitch when I was trying to get through level four. Um, yeah, I should probably try to do his thing. So before I even like try to do anything, because like, I'm starting at zero here. I've never done anything with a smart contract. It's Same. it's a, it's good, man. He he really he shows you the pure basics, but there's so many opportunities and Easter eggs and hidden hidden passages in this thing. He's secret he's, levels. You know clever. what? I'm actually gonna get Gerline to do it because she doesn't know any of this crap. She is totally like Web Perfect three candidate. knows nothing. So Zombie, she's, she's right there, man. She's I'm not to minimize it, but like <laughs> this is an insulting. It, but I, all the programming I've done in my entire life looks a lot more difficult than everything involved in Web three. It all looks basic, like oh yeah, there's a fifty k limit. Jeez. <laughs> Like your basic Android, your basic Android app, like you're at 50k just like defining variables. <laughs> like before you even have a screen come up, you've already you're already bigger than a smart contract can get. Right. I think I think people are just I, I think we're all just scared of it because it it's money and stuff. It's a little scary on its own too. Zombie and I were with Hefe at the beginning of this week to look at some of the minting processes and that i mean deviated very quickly because they're on mac and so they had their own set of shit to deal with and i'm on windows and i couldn't even understand what the heck we were trying to discuss hey, about actually if you well uh, no, there's this thing there, there was this thing i found too that's like a you, you can collaboratory you, you can code collaboratory you know what we're collaborate correct collaboratively, 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 code. collaboratively yes yeah yeah Together. that's a that's a group effort yeah, well, I mean, no, honestly, but, uh, like, this doesn't my code. On, I, like, I, decide, I, I just use pseudocode. I, I write out what the hell I'm trying to do, and then I look for stuff to replace it with that's actually the correct thing. There you go. But, it really is all just, like, expressions. You know, if you know what you want to do, you just I type in what you want it to do. It to that, and then I, like, Google, how do I convert this to that? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think our problem the other day was that because it's a smart contract, it was basically looking for permissions somewhere else that we don't own. So well, it yeah. makes it makes good sense, right? He was trying to get us to wear his shirt; it didn't fit right. Exactly, basically, is what it come down to. So, like, we need like more or less blank code, or to be able to remove permissions and attach them to our side. Or maybe like just yeah, start, that's why I want to work with other artists because you guys speak in metaphors too. Like I talk to normal people, and they don't understand me at all. Like they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> I, I know exactly. What you mean. Oh yeah, you trying to get us to wear a shirt? That makes sense to me. <laughs> what do normal like, people like? That's like a normie, and they're like. Oh, I talk I in we crazy were... talk all the time. Like so many phrases and colloquialisms, and just I just yeah, I have very colorful language. <laughs> yeah like i have to speak in code i could keep secrets all day just by speaking and <laughs> the people i like understand it and the people that hate me uh, <laughs> they don't speak that language they'll just tune <laughs> they, you they, out they and literal. now you've they got secret. literal Indeed. all right you guys i gotta ask what did i miss on the weekly hangout i was out in the woods i was off grid I missed all the alpha from Saturday. What I miss? I'm just going to drop this one, and anybody else can fill in after that. But NFT displays are coming. They said by end of month. Yeah, that's, that's definitely like, true. So Thrax confirmed that one. Um, I give you get ready for that alpha price. It's going to be an alpha based. That's why. That's the other reason why having this. Thing put together would be amazing and back to back with the tiles like there's so much alpha like being spent this month i mean we could even flex it to be be super vicious where you got to burn tiles to get these <laughs> no i don't think we need that yet uh, you might need to <laughs> I mean, you can be savage with if you make something cool you'd be like oh yeah and by the way it uses up golden altars <laughs> 
<laughs> to admit what it means, you got to feed it in the altar. You have to. Oh, geez. Um, no, the, the way they're making it sound is that NFT displays will be affordable because they want you to be able to like fill your land up with them. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I don't mean that. I mean like, like Gachi cards, like things that we make. I we 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 don't have to wait for Pixel Crest to like add burns. We can just make things that cost you stuff. Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, I can't sell these. Yeah, uh, how about I, I mean, make people, other people burn them? GMI <laughs> can just do our entire next artist summit in alpha we're just like look we only accept alpha like i don't know what to tell you <laughs> that's actually a great idea for boosting gmi's treasury because we are going to need a lot of alpha for our stuff and, and in general it puts an anchor in the system like we we can do that we can hold that i'm not worried about il we're not we're not worried about that stuff we're just we just want the bags Oh, I was thinking more like, you know, like you got wearables that are under valuable because, you know, Mr. F-15E is like, like the floor for 10 months. Uh, you know, maybe L2 signs. <laughs> <laughs> L2 signs. It takes an L2 sign and we burn it. I said we just start burning wearables. Oh, I man. need some. Don't burn those yet. I don't have enough of those. This guy. I've got like five naked crazy. gotchies. Yeah, napalm. It's the it's it's the uh, it's the burn it all. <laughs> all right, get them out of here. Pull them all right. the stage. No new wearables. <laughs> yeah, Start burning clothes. Like we got too much shit around here. Get rid of it all. Yeah, yeah. We'll call it the goodwill. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, exactly, Rigo. I'm with Rigo. You can burn them. I'll I'll drop my wallet address in the chat. That is a burn address. You don't have to worry. They'll never touch the market again. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. All right. Well, I Any, guess uh, I guess NFT displays is the big poll from Saturday then, right? That's a huge poll, but there was a lot of alpha. I'm just kind of like there was so much. I even said it on Saturday. I was like there's so much I have to go back and listen to this cuz I'm like forgetting the alpha and I didn't go back and listen yet. So like at the roadmap today and uh i swear it didn't it used to just say nft displays but now it says nft displays and party portal so there's that oh yeah party, party portal portals. that's right party portals yeah. are going to be a yeah, thing item. and what was the mechanism there are we using glitter for that how do we craft the party portals oh well, we don't know but that, i mean that's another because we did discuss that at one point about doing it as glitter because glitter would be the amount of time that it's open, although that would be very expensive. So I would rather not do that. Um, Man, I think that's the right model, though. That sounds good. I know that they were using that's the terminology like charging it up. I guess the, I, you're right, because if an event is only like two time. hours, that makes sense. That's because, eight. like, yeah. But I mean, think about it. The next time we run a summit, if we need a portal open for eight hours. Yeah, that's like a dollar. Yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> think about it. Right? Think about it. Make an L2 something, or L2 something is like 90K, right? That's nothing. Right, right. So there you go. Yeah, glitter. I always forget how cheap glitter is right now. Like, it's just like, until we... Like, like you keep saying until we burn it all, and then we, everybody's like, "Wait, what happened to all the glitter?" Well, we, we fucking burned it. Now, I don't know why people are complaining that the tools are thin. Like, that means that the price will go up if anyone uses any. It doesn't take much to tip the scales here. I don't know, man. No futuristic. I just see my glitter like, I, like I haven't put any new liquidity in, and my percentage of pool keeps going up. So I don't know. Uh that's what I'm saying. Like it's just getting burned. Like it, it, it it's gonna flip soon. Like we're, yeah. I, I'm not staking anymore. Screw that, dude. I'm not um, giving you liquidity. Huh? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're now we're cutting a little, but I hear you. Yeah. So today I looked at my glitter uh, rewards. They were at like 3.5 uh, glitter per block earned. They've now dropped to 3.15. So that means like that's a pretty significant drop. So I'm I'm guessing that the migration of uh, people moving from friends staking to glitter staking is happening now. So it's Probably like damn, so. like I need that number to continue to drop. It's not a. It's no, not that's a, why you're the only one being affected, dude. You're the only one that 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 does like the chintzy stake. 
the rest of us are in the elk pools. I'm like, mine's I, I still going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it depends what pools you're in because I'm still up today. So on what I was. Well, I'm in, yeah, that's what yeah. in the USD pool. I'm in the ghost USDC pool, the ghost glitter pool, the WAP pool uh, in like three different wallets. And they're all down. Those are all yeah. the whale pools, brother. Yeah, the, the ghost USDC for sure is like, I'm actually in all the ALK pools, the WAP pool, and the ghost glitter. Yeah, ghost glitter, glitter is probably my biggest position in my wallet. In my son's wallet, it's close, ghost uh, USDC. Yeah, so it might just be those ALK pools that are pushing me up. Hang on, I'll be right back. I gotta close my front door. I'm getting blasted here. <laughs> no worries. Uh, what's this slaps alpha here, man? Slaps has been hard at work on these three oh, man. assets. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm following him on Instagram, so I get some hot, hot things that I don't know if anybody's seeing. Instagram's another world, man. Like crypto is just not there like instagram hates crypto crypto really doesn't tell people they have an instagram <laughs> instagram it'll be dead soon it's oh yeah, yeah, Facebook. yeah it's all just gonna like into lens oh for sure for sure like i'm you can't even collect like... stuff on instagram what's that <laughs> Well, apparently you can because now there are Facebook and Instagram NFTs. I don't know how it works because I've never powered, looked into it. But powered by Polygon, yeah, but it gets sixty percent, of course. Powered by Polygon's good news. NFTs on Facebook is not a big seller for me. No, no. NFTs going mainstream—that's a good thing. So Facebook's not. I mean, is it really an NFT though? That's the question. You know, like yeah, well, what's this one, like there's that multi-chain crap, right? So, what if you make a thing like where you mint an NFT, it dumps it onto every chain that you can mint NFTs on? Well, that's an interesting one too. I've thought about that with music, for instance. So, music NFTs are very uh, a very funny thing because. All right, so if I make a music NFT, why wouldn't I want to dump my song on every chain, for one? But then also, like, since since NFTs rely visually very heavy on the visual side of it, I can actually release a music NFT multiple times with different artwork and call it a different edition. And and that's not mm -hmm. even outside of the realm of music because we do we used to do it with CDs all the time where you'd have the same CD with four different album covers. A remastered yeah. oh, well, version. No, you, yeah, no. Well, you think about how think about how it works when you make tracks, right? Like, so yeah, like if you do a live set and stuff, right? So you make your track, you get it mastered, and then uh, once you sell it, everyone has your fucking live set. So. But as you, you know, change it and modify it over the years, you end up just playing this unmastered track out because it's the fresh version. But if we were doing NFTs, we're like, every time you, you update your track, you release, you know, like 20 of them. And that pays for the mastering. Right, right. And then you also get the trickle down on it, too. I don't know. If, did you guys see that thing I posted in the in the chat there with the uh, my, my friends made that uh, DVS one out of Minneapolis. That, uh, a slice. A slice. Yeah, yeah, like that's that. that's basically the non NFT. I, I described that thing to them last year about this time, or like right when Richie Houghton was doing doing his thing. Um, I came up with this whole like shenanigans and everything for that, and I described it to him. And then a year later, it comes back to me as, "Well, we're just doing this manually and with machine learning." But like, if you did it with NFTs, it's way better. Like you have record store culture then, like. Yeah, like I showed that to Thrax and he's like, well, wouldn't they just pirate it? And I'm like, I don't think you understand how this works. We used to put stickers over our records. Like, we're pissed that you can just fucking copy shit. We hate it. I, I want my tracks to be my tracks. Like, I bought that. You don't have it. Like, you, you don't get paid as a DJ now because any fucker can just go to B-Port and sort by top 10. Like, you want to be like, I'm the only one that owns that. I used to buy all the copies, you know? You'd, or like if I couldn't afford them, I'd like stick them in the wrong section, you know, stick them over in the house music. 
hey, this one's marked down. I don't know. I'm going to have to get that deal. Oh, uh, yeah. Like if they went upstairs That's and actually... went through the tent there, like I would put like the best new stuff. I would hide it in the back of the used section, put it underneath the fucking old people music. I don't think it over that music culture man. exists anymore, man. I'm with you. you at the shoe store. Shit. But I don't think it, it exists <laughs> like that anymore, man. Like, you know, I'm it like. No. Like I'm like a conservative, but with music. I have <laughs> all of my music things. like backed up, like digital copies of everything. But like I have never purchased digital music. I don't buy into the whole Apple Music bullshit or like paying for Spotify no, or I, any I, of I that stuff. I got like a thousand tracks on Bandcamp though. Right, right. Stuff like that, maybe. But even then, I the never like... I never really got into a lot of that. I supported a few artists, but it's just such a like, it's over there. It's Bandcamp. I got to go over there to listen to it. It's so inconvenient. And it's the same way no, I feel about music it. NFTs right now. It's just so like, there's all these islands of things going on. And at this point, they really haven't solved any of the issues of like digital rights management or, you oh, know. So that, that's the way you put, the way you do it is you got to make the damn thing. And then you, you go to Pioneer. And you're like, hey, because pioneers the dicks. They're 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 the they're the fucking monopolistic dicks. So like, uh, you go to pioneer and you're like, how about you put a thing in where these, you, yeah, where where these only work on yours. Why go to pioneer? Let's just call Lars. We'll get his attention by playing thirty seconds of a Metallica song, and then we'll be like, all right, so check it out. <laughs> <laughs> But actually, no. That, They'll that's, be too that's busy writing way. lawsuits to listen to your proposal. You make an industry standard. You just make a standard, like, and you, you say that nope, it's not something you own or anything. It's just like it must conform to the standard, and that will make sure that these work on the decks. You know? I wonder how they're going to integrate music and audio NFTs into the Gachiverse, uh, the NFT displays. Well, that's they why I was said thinking, it's going to yeah, have sound. There's, like a file, there's a file coin thing in there, so like you could. You could do the regular oh, NFT thing with the art on on the regular part of the NFT, but then it could also be storing the high quality file somewhere encrypted, so that only you have access to it. And then, like with, on the regular part of the NFT, where someone could possibly right click it or record off the internet, you're just getting a 128 MP3. So, like, yeah, you can pirate and steal because you want people to pirate and steal your music so that they listen to it. But you also want to charge people like DJs money and remixers money to own the real copy. Right. So and that's kind of what I'm saying at this band. point. At this point, music NFTs haven't solved that. And I would definitely not want to put Pioneer in the middle of it. It definitely needs to be something that I would I would trust somebody more like Chainlink to try to figure this out than than you know any of the old people who the old parties are just going to figure out how to put themselves in the middle of independent you artists as they always did. When you meant the high quality version, it used, that's what we'll do. We'll just have it use, we'll have it use the chain link BRF to, to create the encryption. And then you get a key so that, yeah, I mean, someone can that, look at the metadata. That's not the important part of it. The important part is that you need uh, somebody listening to everything all over the world at one time to charge the royalties. That's the part that's important about the whole thing. So that everybody in the world, when they're using your music, you get paid. And that's why you currently go through those other services, because you're paying them to listen on your behalf and to make sure you get paid. But in exchange, they're taking upwards of 50% plus your yearly fee whatever it might be and then they might charge per song per album in some cases it's all different but we need to have something that takes out that middleman of listening for you basically and that something can be automated that actually handles that part of things and then it would give that money back to artists more directly instead of like oh, yeah no so okay so you what you do is you build into it something where it goes and it knows when you're performing. It knows when you're, yeah, it's got to know, like, if you're going to stream it, it knows that. Like, it's fine. You're playing this at home. It's fine. It's fine. Twitch turns on. Your output's enabled. Yep. Yeah, no, nope, someone's getting a cut now. <laughs> no, that's what I mean, though. Like, even so, like, it's not just people that but own it. It's how YouTube shuts you down. Yeah. 
because YouTube has the algorithm that's listening on behalf of people. YouTube is paid by those yeah, third yeah. party people to shut you down. It's not that YouTube so the way, cares. The way this They're making is, money to do it. But, but, okay. So the, the way it works is you, you make it so it automatically whitelists you. Like, it, you rig it up so it whitelists the music as you're playing it because you own it because you've got the nft which means people will want these well yeah but you have to have something listening first is my point it doesn't matter there's no whitelist for a thing that's not listening so that's the first point well, here is that something has to be the, made the, to do this the platforms want in an a solution. automated way or at least like, the they technology want, they has to, to be, be free better. Yeah, they they don't want to be the babysitter. This pisses them off. They would love it if there was a way they could be like, "Yep, this is fine. We know it's fine. It's certified." They don't they don't like dealing with Nobody stuff right where do. artists are like, "Yo, this is my music, even in your band." I think that's it. actually their entire bread and butter is being in the middle, and that's they wouldn't exist if there was no middle to sit. That's the point I'm making. That like they literally do want to keep doing this. That's actually what they would use the technology for is to keep themselves posted up right in the middle. Whereas like decentralizing these algorithms to be more for artists and less for record companies. That right now the algorithms already exist, but they're under the control of YouTube and uh whatever. Well, there's a what's the service you have to pay like there's a service you have to pay to get on Spotify, basically. And they're the people who have the algorithm that listens to your music to get played everywhere. Yeah, any distributor, yeah, yeah. basically. That, that's fucking ass cap again. Those guys are scum. Right. Like, so that's the I'm, point I'm is, what we need is the only way to remove concept, them, the only way to remove them is to decentralize the technology that does the listening. Well, to decentralize it, you just need one legalese boilerplate contract that if attached, that we attach to, so when you make stuff, it has performance rights. And right. they, and then they'll know, oh, shit, it's got that flag. It's got the performance right flag. Uh, we yeah, but you, have that's what I'm saying. Is you're, you're starting at the user end, and it actually ASCAP has to start at the other perfect. end. This is not ASCAP. They get nothing. Because those fuckers, those might... fuckers own your music. Even if you if you don't deal with them, they still collect money for you, and keep it. Right. It, it's mafia. Right. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. Is what you're talking about is on the user end, and it actually needs to start on the other end. It actually has to start with some technology, basically saying, "Hey, artists, we'll do that service for you over here on a blockchain." And then it becomes its own incentive to disrupt that old system. But part of that has to be that you have to be able to legally copyright on top of having them do your DRM, which is what's well, basically missing what it is, from it's like, uh, what's caught. It's, it's not the smart technology contract. that's the problem. It's the legal parts of it. It's that you have to right. literally disrupt the business long enough to be able to steal the market share. Otherwise, they'll shut you down. Well, the, the first thing you do is you put a contract and uh, you put a, a creative commons type contract in the blockchain that people can just use. And maybe we charge them one keck. For one keck, you can have creative commons on the blockchain. I mean, that might turn keck into five bucks. Who knows? That would be a crazy thing. That would be a crazy thing. The market cap on Keck then would go into... Yeah, one Keck per song that was ever written. Yikes. <laughs> well, right. friends, we are approaching our hour here. Kind of on the top of it. I know we started a little late, but we got a, a couple of artist summit announcements to slip in before we go to. I'm going to pull back and transition here so we can wrap up. Okay. Is that cool? I, didn't, I don't want to like cut no, you no, off. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. We don't need to dive into the music industry I'm much trying longer. To we, definitely, <laughs> we definitely need to pivot <laughs> back into Gachi. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so first announcement is that most pieces from the auction have been paid for. We're just waiting on a few more. So if you have won a piece and have not paid, please get your payment to the, uh, the GMI Gnosis. And I'm thinking these are going to go out a lot faster than the Guild Summit stuff did. We're working on meta and minting. We've got almost all the assets already uploaded to Arweave. Uh, meta's being posted today. I have to get on my meta, actually. I haven't submitted that yet. And then once we get our smart contract stuff figured out and the permissions uh, all sorted, yeah. jumping on minting. I mean, I guess if we can't get it sorted, Hefe might end up doing it all, but hopefully we can get this all figured out. I would not want him to have to do it all. Plus, I want to learn this and, you know. Same. And it's a big collection, so he needs help. We got to figure this out. So yeah, if we'll there is it. a delay in people getting their pieces, it's it's for that reason. You know, obviously, we're trying to destroy. We're good for it. It's all coming. We're having smart contract issues. Hard. It's so no. hard. We're having smart contract usage issues. <laughs> right. Right. Well, you know, actually, it goes back to what Hardcore was saying earlier. Like, you know, smart contracts are very small they're not actually smart at all. They're actually very stupid, which is why they need outside things like Chainlink to tell them the state of things because they actually don't contain much information at all inside of them. So, yeah. And the people trying to operate them are even stupider in some cases. <laughs> <laughs> I am currently the even stupider person, but I, I hope to get a better grasp on this i was really yeah, see, that's our advantage we can make better stuff because we're terrible like if, if <laughs> that's if what i always tell girl anything that we can use without fucking up like <laughs> this is some bulletproof stuff interesting <laughs> i like that perspective oh, i yeah. think that encourages me good yeah it's hobbit logic <laughs> All right, a yeah, couple more announcements. A <laughs> couple more announcements. We have a few pieces that do not have a bidder. In the, in the hustle and bustle and the shuffling of the early stage of the auction, we had a couple of tickets that got closed, and we don't have the bidder. I think we're down to two, maybe three pieces, but we don't have a bidder name. So if yeah. you... Go ahead, Mike Alien. I think it's three, three, three pieces right now. I'm staring right at it here. So it's got you tower or got you with tower number two from Lev. That was twenty ghost. Someone he's claimed that bad boy. Two thirty five ghost on that one, and then it was the galactic Kanakek tree from Duppy at ten ghost for the fourth edition. Those three pieces are the last like claim it, claimants that need to step forward. Otherwise, we've already got people in place that are happy to adopt. All right, so yeah, if, if you heard some of your bids in there, you need to uh, reach out and let us know that that was you. Otherwise, we'll still be minting them and sitting on them in the contract, so hopefully you get to us ASAP before somebody pulls them out of the lost and found. <laughs> Indeed, I got my eyes on Gachi with Tower 2, so if that's your bid and you want it, you better scoop quick. Oh, man. <laughs> I do want to give just a quick shout-out just back to the Artist Summit here for... Um, Casper the Gachi oversent his bid uh, on purpose and, and, and provided a, a nice little GMI tip on top of the hat. And then Lev and Apron both uh, bit the bullet and decided to take no profits whatsoever from their piece sales and have donated 100% to the GMI treasury. Wow. That's that really is awesome. awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks. You know, thanks to everybody. Yeah. Man, that is That is awesome. Plus, we had a bunch of server boosters over the weekend. So, like, you know, overall, I'm working on a server booster badge. We've got a POEP for attendance. We've got a premium secret POEP are all also ready to go. Yeah, we yep, got some yep. thanks for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the artist summit still riding that high. You know, I'm still, you know, <laughs> we're riding the work too. Right. Like, I will say, I will, I will say the one more thing there too. So, like the the artist summit videos proper on the YouTube. I just got to make the effort to get them up to the lens tube. Once those four pieces are up on lens, which obviously this part one, part two, part three, part four collection available to own the entire 
Artist Summit, and we're going to do something interesting for folks that do collect the full set. It's not going to be a high price. It'll be really a micro price and high editions, but there is going to be something. You guys have seen a lot of with gotcha goodies. Uh, they've been super excited about what they've got going on, so we're looking at some synergy there. Oh, wow. I love it. I'm definitely collecting. I made the videos. So I want to own them. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I can break those down real quick too. So part one is, uh, you know, it's the opening intro and Jesse, uh, given his talk about fake gotchis and gotchi culture. And then part two is master Yang with his deep dive into rare pepes and fake pepes or fake rares. And then, um, Followed up with Nyan Kong talking about some, you know, he just like name drops Sega and things like that in there like it ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Just like, you know, filling in on some 8-bit game in history there. And then, um, what, part three is when we get into the artists beginning with Zbot. And then part four is the final piece of artists and the after party. So there you go. Very cool. And then, uh, yeah, I would definitely say definitely you want to collect those, you know, even without the alpha, uh, it costs money to upload videos on lens. So definitely when you see people posting videos, like help them out, you know, or they're not going to be able to keep posting videos because at some point they'll be posting videos at a loss. So support your lens video creators for sure, which we will be entering that number soon. We're going to start uploading these episodes to lens. So that's all I got. You can move on. <laughs> all right, Tommy, you want to close us out? <laughs> no, we got anything else? Got you goodies. Did we, did we mention that? We kind of oh. mentioned it. He said up front, gotcha goodies. So who did this? Who's, whose project is this? Is this Duppy? Who did this? This is Leonardo da Gachi. Leonardo da Gachi, yes. So he took a piece from each artist and seems to have made them into real physical objects. I mean, I don't think they're like real physical objects, but he's used the graphics from the artist summit. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. To turn them into what looks like the central land wearables, essentially. This is uh, his, his vision Super for cool. a fake merchandise series, which he has broad visions that are very comprehensive for the long term. So these will not be just digital onlys ever, but who knows on the timeline. He's 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 extremely ambitious and, and has it all laid out in his mind and needs practically no help from GMI whatsoever. And wow. we're just oh very God. lucky that he has decided that, that we're honor of words. Wow. Yeah. He's also These are really cool. a super follow on lens, but he says, if you super follow, it's worth it. And I think it's one Matic. So manner, I don't know if you specifically have looked at that open sea listing yet or not, but every artist that submitted work for the artist summit, your top sold piece is going to be the piece that he used as inspiration per artist and has made individual unique pieces. So anybody that submitted anything to the artist summit, you've got a goodie on its way to you. Wow. That is crazy. exciting. Crazy. I, I think he's put me on a Game Boy. I can't believe it. I love Game Boys. <laughs> that's, no, that's no Game Boy. It's a friend boy. That's a friend Tendo friend boy. Uh, friend friend, friend Tendo gotcha boy. That's fantastic. Awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> There's a guy out of Denver that that, that does a live text and has no friend though. <laughs> we should probably, I should, I should, I should, I should, yeah. Yeah, he needs to be in Gachi Game. If I get sideways, I'd be like, yo, you realize there's a market up here? You got to own a Gachi though. Got to so, own yeah, a Gachi. Got like, that Shades of Gravy is, is just top notch. I was really, I mean, all of these pieces are amazing. His, his, his. That hoodie uh, looks awesome. Yeah, his interpretation is just fantastic. But man, I tell you what, Lev is a condom. There ain't nothing better. <laughs> <laughs> These are awesome. All right, friends. That about does it for our, our list today, our discussion topics. 
yeah, I guess I'm just going to close out by saying, you know, what we've been saying for a couple of weeks now, but man, get on lens. We're having fun over there. There's all kinds of like art being dropped over there. I've been collecting left and right on people. So, Same. you know, it's definitely, I think it's, I think it's amazing. I think everybody needs to be over there buying art because if you're buying art from people, then they're buying art from people and it's a big circular economy and that's how it's supposed to work. And, you know, if you're buying my philosophy art, of money is I'm buying here. somebody else's art, you know, exactly. And like I said, videos, you know, all the stills and everything are free to upload, but like videos are actually costing people some Arweave storage, a little bit of Matic. And it's very expensive too. It's not like cheap compared to Bigger uploading the video. straight to Arweave. Um, yeah. Like I want to say an hour of videos costing you like four upwards of four Matic, you know? So depending on the size and quality of the video. So definitely these episodes will be costing us over formatic to upload. Um, so that's not too bad though. No, it's not bad, but you definitely hopefully got some people collecting your episodes to make it worth it to keep uploading. Um, well, I'll collect one of them. You just got to find three more. (laughs) So yeah. Uh, yeah. Get on lens, buy people's art, put your stuff up there. And uh, and hashtag know. Avagachi. We're trying to get trending. Gravy's pushing this. Uh, he's pushing a Avagachi trending trend. That's true. Uh, Lens is paying and- attention. Lens is paying attention to Gachi Gang. Stani has followed a bunch of us. You know, me, Hefe, No Futuristic, probably Mycalium, like a bunch of us. Stani is following and talking to us on there. So, like, you know, we're early guys. Get over there and just, you know, it's it, it's crazy because when you know I've probably said this a couple times, but when I first heard about Lens, I was like, oh, social media, whatever, blah blah. As soon as I got on there, it was like I'm, instantly was sold. Hey, this is different. Yeah, same. Totally. I don't use totally. any of that other crap. I, I use Lenster every day. And it's got some bugs. It's a little. It's a beta, so it's got some problems. You got to refresh things a lot. Definitely, my biggest thing to say is like when you click that button to do anything, give it time. Don't try to click away too quickly. Give things time to index or transact or whatever it says it's doing. Give it a moment to happen. You can click on it. You can click on where it says transaction indexing too, and it will take you right to the Polygon Scan page. Exactly. If you're unsure, if it still looks like it's spinning and you're like, I don't know if that posted or not, you can click on that page, and if the transaction's processed, it's posted. It just might not yet be visible on the page. You do just have to give it. Okay, so I, I haven't really been using this thing yet. Is is there anything I, I should – are there any, like, uh, yeah, things I should do to, like, SEO optimize setting up my profile before I even start doing anything? Like, I never looked into any of that. I mean, you can, you can embed it, hashtags. Does it matter? You can embed hashtags and ads in, in the bio link, and it doesn't on matter. Context. Working on really early stage, like at, like uh, lens scraper type platforms, where you can search specific hashtags or terms, but that's still super early right now. It's not a bad idea to do it, but it's not life or death at this stage. I would at all. say that hashtags are probably more useful on lens than they are on any other social media at this point, because like they're every other social media has got these squashed algorithms, so it almost doesn't matter what you're doing to get seen. It's what they think you should be doing to get seen, whereas lens is is more open. So yeah, like he's right. They may not have the full infrastructure for hashtags to work, but retroactively your hashtags will probably be live. Okay. So the, the, as far as I could tell the the thing that matters is like who you interact with and who interacts with you. Yeah. For the most part. And then I feel and how big you can make your little network. You can also set your permissions in a very granular way where you can make people have to pay to follow you. You can make it to where, you know, obviously normal privacy settings. You can also set up your post to where no one can collect them. Anyone can collect them. Different, you know, time and t- fear, fee tiers. Um, so there's a lot of granular permissions as far as what people are allowed to do with your post. And there's more coming. Um, so it's going to be really like, there will be features where you'll have to, for instance, actually pay, buy someone's post to be able to comment on it. So it'll get expensive to be a troll. (laughs) There are profiles that set their, their follows up that way too, where you have to, you have to buy in 10 or 20 Matic 
to be able to react to any of the things that they've right or like you know some of my things that i've set some of my collects i've set that anybody can collect it and then some i was like well no if you want this because they were like only five of them i was like well i only want my followers to have a chance at this so like if you're not following me you can't collect this you know so that's another part is being able to set that like followers or not or like anybody so yeah it, it is going to be and i think it's just going to open wider the one of the greatest things i think too is for most things like if you use a, if you post on lens on lens tube for instance it's it automatically goes on lenster so this integration of things not having to set up your profile every time you use a new dap it's just like oh hey it's you Here's your PFP. All of your posts and all of your collects, it just transfers with you. Yeah. It's nice. So um, I guess then at that point, if you want to manage multiple identities, you just got to manage multiple wallets. Although on LensTube, for instance, you are able to switch accounts just like you would be on YouTube. So I'm guessing if in the future when you can have multiple Lens accounts attached to one wallet, then you should be able to switch accounts or maybe there's going to be granular permissions where you can add people to your lens tube channel, just like you can with a normal YouTube channel. So it's all early stages right now. So it's going to be really interesting to see what you can do, you know, as it develops and, and more and more features get like actually built out, you know, but I'm glad that we're here early to be able to test this thing. And, you know, as I keep laughing when you say the Z5, but like, you know, we were talking about dropping Cosmic Spaghetti and they were like, yeah, I, I don't think they know what Gotcha Gang is going to do. Like, we're going to break your service on Saturday. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we look forward to breaking your product on, service, on Saturday. Sir. And you know what? They slept on us on that Saturday and they woke up on Tuesday like, oh, my God, Gotcha Gang what's happening and like they've been you know following and and being on us ever since so they missed their own suggested collect window exactly we beat them to it yep <laughs> they did not know what the artist summit was going to be and they missed the boat on that but they're not missing the next boat so no, get no. on lens they're paying attention to us hashtag avagachi the whole world whole word that's the uh, that's the push yep all right, y'all. That's Great it chat. from A to Z. We'll see you next week. Yep. We will Let see y'all next week. week. You want to cover. See you on Lens. We will not be posting these on YouTube anymore. So if you weren't here live, you got to watch it on LensTube. Peace.